So my initial impressions are... Holy... G'day folks. What a whirlwind this week has been for me. I hope you've been well since we last spoke. Coming at you from the Honda, as I will be from now on. Figured I'd take you on a little jaunt on this beautiful winter's day. Personally and professionally, my life has been a bit hectic lately. I always find it especially important to ride during these times when I can. I've taken on a second job because I wasn't full-time at my other job. But it turns out this edition has me working more than full-time hours totally. As a result, the downtime has been super important. I found the balance a little bit tricky. I'm still getting used to these new hours. But one thing that hasn't changed is my love for the zen of motorcycling. I was trying to explain to my brother recently why motorcycling is so important to my mental health. And I really could only sum it up in the fact that you have to be 100% present. You can't afford to think about anything else. You need to concentrate wholly. That's the main reason why I love it. It's all encompassing. The smell, the feel, everything. I'm in the moment and I'm 100% present. Riding this new bike has been an absolute privilege. I'm thoroughly enjoying the new power. I'm still getting used to knowing my way around it, but I'm riding it often and I'm riding it far, and I think we're getting along pretty well. Some of you have asked what I'm doing with my old Suzuki. It's staying in the family. I've actually got it parked at my father-in-law's at the moment. He's going to ride it every now and again and keep it running for me. I just registered it, just put new tyres on it. I'd already paid for it, so... it really is no skin off my nose just to keep it in the family for a little bit. I don't quite think I'm ready to let go of it. Besides, my brother, who also lives in town, just got his motorbike else. This is super exciting to me because I actually taught him how to ride his first bike. We both started on a little Wee 80 and then we moved up to a bigger XR100 and that XR100 is the last bike he's ever ridden besides from the Suzuki. I'm really excited to introduce him to the world of road riding. It's been really awesome to see the passion burgeon and grow in him just like it did in me. I really look forward to bringing you some content, showing you his first experiences riding. And who knows, perhaps as he grows more confident, he'll let me put him on the channel a bit more. Watching Joseph learn how to ride is going to be so full circle for me. There's been lots of little tidbits in my life at the moment that have just sort of come about full circle. Professionally and personally. And it's really beautiful. I don't speak about it much here, but there's times in my life where I didn't even think I'd make it to 35 years old. So it's a real privilege and an honour for me to be able to sit here and enjoy life. To really fully participate in it. To have more than one job, let alone a single job. I can't quite articulate what that sort of means to me. There's been a lot of times in my life where I didn't think I could work. And I don't really delve into that here very much. It's not really what the channel's about. But it's been pretty cool to witness my own growth. You guys have helped that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and cheering me on from the sidelines. It's been such a privilege and an honour 
to be part of such an awesome community. I can't wait to share the future with you all. Peace out.